been the whole experience was very very good special you know we have grown up watching his movies and uh, when you get to work with the legend himself so i think it's a dream come true and all thanks to my director stanley who made this possible and uh, he was the one who first saw my pictures and uh, was convinced that i could play that role and uh, justify it but i i always believe that all what you see on screen whatever actors do good or bad you know i think it's all because of the man who is behind the camera the director I, so i think he make us all look cool and good so it was a great experience so besides all the experience of all the actors as well so the main difference between the sort of freedom of acting and kind of other aspects no i i feel that uh, you know behind every successful person whether he is from the media or in any any field you have to be very humble focused and uh, grounded um you know, everyone has met uh, Jackie also you you feel in him that he is a very grounded person uh, very connected with roots and so are all our uh, superstars in our you know all the languages we have it so to be successful it's important uh, uh, to connect with yourself and to connect to the roots and i feel uh, Jackie has got all those uh, you know plus points and i think that those wishes of all the people you work with they make you a super legend which i think that yeah, you know almost kareeb ek saal shoot kiya unke sath to bahut seekhne ko unse bahut mila every day kuch na kuch classes hoti thi aur you know bahut sari jo jackie chan sun team hai puri uske log har roz sikhate the my director himself he is also mixed martial art you know fighter trainer he has done lots of stunts for jackie also in jackie chan movies also he has directed so many films but when your director is so fit and uh, so good with uh, you know son so you learn before the action he also used to show me how to fight how to be so quick uh, which we uh, generally are not very so quick in bollywood movies so i think that's one thing i learned from sandy mm-hmm. uh, <laughs> yeah well first excuse me from wearing the glasses that I have allergy in the eyes so well. <laughs> yeah and uh uh for working with solo i was so so happy that first of all he's very professional mm. never late mm. <laughs> and uh when i uh, first met him uh and i told him about the characters and i need him to spend time in training because he's going to beat up jackie so so then he he was kind of in the beginning is kind of nervous yeah because when he do the bollywood fight and uh, the jackie chan style of fighting is very different the tempo is and the rhythm is faster instead of a lot of slow motion you know so uh and his body is very beautiful very fit then i have to uh loosen him up and then make him you know how to fight faster and acting wise he's a uh, he's perfect you know like uh he just got that look the noble look you know and uh very handsome <laughs> and and that's that's not by me you know like uh and there's a when there's the movie the test screening uh, for all the distributor and all the uh, promotion team in China a lot of girls saying that wow this Indian actor is very handsome you know and that's that's what i heard from them you know and and i enjoy working with solo and and all the other cast you know from from india and uh, they are very professional not only acting is good and also uh dancing is very good it's too bad i don't have them singing on this t- this time <laughs> so <laughs> otherwise i think they would be good too okay so that he doesn't need a Anybody from the industry who is the best action hero? From from our oh, industry? From our industry. Well, I think all uh, we are all trained actors. You know, we know our um, you know the, the parameters of our actions. You know, it's, it's a typical uh, um, way we fight in all our films. Though the action directors change and they uh, bring their own style, but still, I would say um, it's it's important to work with uh, those international. Uh, you know sun team those uh, styles which are which are never seen we only see in hollywood movies that's why we say that you know why these movies look 
larger than life, why that action is so quick. So I think um, for, an, for, for any actor, it's, it's kind of a learning ground that you work with different directors, action guys, and you, uh, you learn a lot. But I feel, you know, our act actors also need to talk about Mr. Bachchan to Salman, to Shah, they have done great action films and they're all very good in their, uh, you know, films. The challenging part was definitely the action, you know, the kind of uh, stunts that are performed in those uh, films. So I was always waiting for those days to happen. I remember we started with the, the car chases in Dubai, which is almost 25, 30 days we had only car chases. And I remember the first time I read the script, you know, uh, it was, you know, the cars were, we have Bugattis, you have Lamborghinis, you know, on Sheikh Zayed Road. One car hits the other, it flies, the Hummer, it, you know, hits the Hummer, Hummer, again, like, so he's saying it's, it's easy to write it, but when you, when you execute all, the, all those things that are written, so how difficult it's going to be. And I think those 30 days I got all my answers from Stanley, the way he, uh, you know, did all those action stunts. And when you see those chases, it's, it will leave you still on there. You know, when we were shooting, I told Jackie that, you know, uh, we have to go to India. They said, yeah, yeah, we will definitely go. And uh, Stanley um, uh, also loves India. And we were all discussing that we have to do the promotions. But when the film releases, and when we are close to the promotions, when, you know, you have to travel to different countries, the schedules are very tight. And, uh, you know, where they talk about the cost factors, whether you talk about the time schedules, timelines. So everything is a challenge. So sometimes you always feel that, you know, will that happen or not? But, uh, you know, Stanley also was very sure that we have to go to India because this film has got an Indian connection. And uh, when Jackie was more than happy to come to India, and uh, I think as a team it was an effort that we all had put in to be here. And uh, yesterday what all we did in one, those eight, ten hours, I think uh, generally I've, I've shot many Bollywood movies. It takes us around about eight to ten days to shoot what we did in those eight, ten hours. So it was kind of a challenging experience, but all thanks to our, you know, marketing team, PR team, so our, the way they, uh, you know, line everything for us, I think that made it possible. Do you, do you know that China is one of the best market for Indian cinema? Last time you met Amazon, you said Disney was the most profitable right. business in China. Right. <coughs> Definitely, you know, we, we, you know, we boast of four and a half thousand screens in India. China has almost forty-three thousand screens. So you can see the kind of market, uh, it is, it's huge and uh, it's good that, you know, uh, as an Indian, I'm part of uh, such a big film and when um, when these films do well, uh, definitely there are new avenues that open for us and, you know, uh, I'm, I'm ready to learn my lessons. Sir. Um, like I said, you know, I always believe that dreams do come true. In one of the interviews nine years back, I had uh, uh, given an interview which, which I, I had forgotten about, but one of my friends had sent me, which, which said, uh, uh, who knows one day Jackie Chan might cast me in his film. So it was in 2007 I had given an interview. And when they had sent me the clipping, I said, yeah, yeah, I said that nine years back. And it happened. Um, so I, I'll, I still believe that and I'll keep on dreaming and working with the best I'll dream to work with Stanley's next film and many more films and I'm sure you know those dreams will also come true. Will the next film be all this Of course, you know, uh, it's always a... Uh, dreams do come true, sir. Yeah. <laughs> and I... And this is the costume that he gave me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love Indian costumes, you know, but like... I'm not... I'm not that fit to put on, you know. <laughs> and uh, the, he, he looks so good, I say, wow, <laughs> he looks very good. So then when, I just say that, but when I arrived yesterday, he, he had this in my room waiting for me. So I, I say, I have to wear it. <laughs> <laughs> what I, do you like about India? Huh? You are here now. What do you like about India? Uh, Indian movies, Indian food? I, I love India since I was a kid. You know why? I, I, I draw, I, I like to draw, so I draw Taj Mahal, you know, a few times. You know, and uh, and I watched some uh, Bollywood movie, music, and dance because my family have a, a business uh, selling records, <laughs> and uh, and there's there's many Indian live in Hong Kong too, and and so uh, the first time I came 
to India is 1993. Yeah, after I make Police Story, before I make Rumble in the Bronx, you know, I was looking for some new idea. So I came over, I went to, from Himalaya to Bangalore, you know, I, I, I travel the country for about a month. And, and I, I, I just love the culture. I love the architecture. I love the fabric and I like the costume design, the jewelry design, you know, and also Buddhism, you know, come to China a thousand years ago. Yeah, and also Talati Paya too, you know, the martial arts also traveled to China. And we have so, so many things, you know, that, that back in the history, so many good things. So, so as a, as a writer, director, I always want to, you know, find something new to share with the audience because a lot of the audience doesn't know, well, especially Chinese audience doesn't know much about India. You know, so that's why I want to make movies. So uh, 11 years ago, I made The Myth with Jackie Chan and uh, Malika Sarwa, and I shot it Humvee. And, but that was like a very small part. So I, I, I keep that in mind. I say one day I have to come back and make another movie. So, so here I come back and uh, to have a Kung Fu Yoga. <laughs> I definitely I, I, I do feel that you know the when big films release on the same day they tend to eat uh, each other's business but like I said you know, there are only 52 weeks in one year and we have so many movies releasing so um, and there are very few special dates when everyone tries to come on those days so, uh, there will be those clashes happening but um, history says that you know when two big films release on the same day they both have done well uh, many of many uh, times but I, I always believe that the film will run only on the merit of uh, um, you know how good the film is even if a film releases on a day when no other releases, if the film is not good, it's not going to work. So I'm sure, you know, and these two films are coming, both the films are from the great filmmakers, great actors, great directors. So I'm, I'm sure you know, both will do well. Yeah. Actually, yeah. yeah. Sir? Sir, one, one. No, I think actually I have the same question from the Chinese uh, reporter asking me, you know, there will be 10 movies releasing in Chinese New Year. What do I think? Do I have pressure? It's I, I actually was saying that other movie has nothing to do with me because I only doing this movie. When I try to do this Kung Fu Yoga, I try to do the best I could and I never think about when I'm gonna release, who is my competitor. You know, as a filmmaker, I think what we have to concentrate on how to make your own movie the best you can do. And also every director, every story, every combination of the actor will be different, you know. So I think all the other movies releasing at the same time, that we will have a difference, you know, in the story and the look. So differences make makes me happy is because the audience got a choice. They can choose this, they can choose that. It's not about who's better, uh, uh, who, who is good or bad. I think it's about, as a filmmaker, it's about we always have to have a good attitude to make the best we can do. You have to watch both the films. You have to watch both the films. And both the films are looking very promising and um, I'll watch it. So now, I, I was not aware because you know we had a late event, but uh, it's very unfortunate that you know someone has lost his life uh, just because of it. Right? But I, um, uh, all I can say is very unfortunate. Wish it uh, shouldn't have happened, but uh, thank you so much. Thank you.